I went to their hood that one time. This dude named Tough, like, you know, Rum, come to my hood. I'm like, I'm not coming to my fucking. Guess where Rum turned up at? Hoover Park. Yeah. Nigga, they was looking like, ain't you? I'm like, yeah, I'm here with Tough. They're like, all right, all right, you, you, you straight groove. I'm nigga. Talk about nigga being scared, cause I felt like if I didn't go, nigga, I, I, I just felt like my little reputation or my my ism would have been tarnished. You know what I'm saying? Cause the way that we met, and then I was like, you know, come on, you know. I said, I don't know, no blood that ever did this in history, but you know, like, but then the Hoovers ain't got no animosity towards me other than I'm a blood. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I just put that motherfucking jacket on. I just put that little kit, that like the jacket up, nigga. All right, man, I'm just gonna go. Just hopped out and just, I told my ride, I'll see you later. They're like, you nigga, do you see all these niggas up here? I guess they hood day. That motherfucker shook his head, just drove off. Like, all right, Ron. Like, nigga, you crazy in the motherfucker, cause I. And I just walked up in the park, and motherfucker, Tiger was there. Tiger was there. Okay, at, if you. No, I already know, cause the nigga cousin's from from. Uh, he was at who on who? Oh, like kissing babies like the president. I'm looking like, look at this nigga, His man. Cousin for five dudes. Yeah. Okay. So that's why. So schoolboy and the nigga that got what's the nigga girl? Uh, what's the nigga the girl that got the little? Fuck, I can't think of this nigga name, but. He basically ran Last Kings, so that's the nigga. He from Hoover. Like him and Schoolboy oh, okay. Q from Hoover, so that's why they used to have Tiger over there and the Hoovers with him. So that was like okay. his little co-sign. I got you. It was cool. Like it was awkward because I'm used to going to Donald Rodgers picnics and all blood shit, and I'm like, my little heart was beating. I'm like, man, man, damn. But I said, fuck. It. I mean, yeah. I said, fuck it. Like. It, it, they gonna talk about it, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I I don't have a guilty conscience to where, you know, I felt like they were gonna do something to me. So I just, you know, went. And it, it worked out. Wasn't no bullshit. Nobody tried to press me. Wasn't nothing. I, you know, I already like meeting y'all, nigga. A couple of my, my homies from Denver Lanes found out about it. My, my homie June dog <laughs> from Denver Lanes found out about it. He was like, blood, that's some bullshit. He's like, run, man, the niggas could have killed you. I'm like, man, I didn't. Yeah, but I ain't you know I ain't do nothing to these niggas. Don't want to kill me, right. like, like you know, like I ain't, I got, it's, I know Crips that want to kill me. I'm not gonna go to their hood, they but you know, they like, run. It's different line, you know. Like I know, blood, I know, you know, but like you know, you have to understand who I am and what I do. Is I have to do certain things so barriers be broke. Like a lot of homies don't understand that. Like I'm not under no paperwork. I'm not snitch wise. I'm not no bitch, no buster. So it's like. If my name has been respected for generations from the, <coughs> from the early 90s, it's certain things I, I have the diplomatic immunity to do. And, and on top of that, I don't press the issue like I'm no big old shot caller. I don't, I don't, I don't do none of that. Zero. You can't find me. Dude, what, what? No, I don't do that. Why would I want to do that? When I could, I'm comfortable doing what I'm doing, which is getting us back on track through the blood transfusion, Going out meeting homies, giving them uh, um, information and knowledge on why we started having. They want to know these certain things from certified motherfuckers because out of state, they don't get the they don't get the real knowledge from motherfuckers. Motherfuckers they want motherfuckers to pay them and like ah right, man, look, I ain't, I'm not for here. I'm not here for all that shit. And they respect me more by doing the most by doing the bare minimum. It's like it's like uh, um, just pro per like just doing it for free, but. It's not for free because it's gonna cost you motherfuckers to make up your mind. If, if nigga, because partially doing this means you're gonna have to give up doing some of that. Because once you're aware, you're not gonna to wanna to do a lot of that bullshit no more. Right. You're not gonna to wanna to do that shit no more. Accountability. So, exactly. In music, all in, in gang banging. Like, you know, a lot of little homies say, oh, big homie didn't, didn't teach me nothing. I, I love you better than my big homie. Damn, man. Then they be feeling bad because this nigga led us wrong. Next thing you know, big homie getting ran out the set. Now they want me to leave. I, I can't. I, that's not what I know. You know, like, I, I'm not finna lead y'all because that's not what I did that for. I mean, that's, y'all didn't ask me these questions to overthrow him. I thought that y'all asked me these questions so that you could have a better understanding. But within that better understanding, you understood that this nigga's a piece of shit. Oh, you got to go. <sighs> so it's like, sheesh. I gotta like really be careful to put myself in situ certain situations because I'm not getting a RICO act. It's either gonna be my freedom or I'm gonna just gonna leave all this shit alone because I'm not finna step into the shoes that the government wants me to step into. They want me to motherfucking become a gang leader so they can lock up another one of us. 
and I've had the influence nationwide to do certain things like that, and I, I, I declined. There's no reason for me to do that. I don't know how y'all city set up. I don't know how your laws out here. I don't know what y'all got going on. <clears throat> y'all know y'all better than I do. But I know our structure better than y'all do. <clears throat> so this is the bare minimums of why we were started, why we did this, why we did that. Like, we don't have to know a lot of things that y'all know. It's, it's certain shit that they ask me. I don't, I don't know that. I, was, I just grew up in this shit. Like, how did y'all even find out? Oh, came from behind prison and this, this and that, like, uh, or somebody came out here and then out there and then twisted some shit up, like, uh, I don't remember all that, like, and then they get, they get to asking other people in California, because now they know certain people now, but they run and run into this nigga, they're like, nigga, why you didn't tell us whoop de whoop And they whoop his motherfucking ass, drop his flag, all, it's, it's a lot of that shit going on, because the truth is out, just the age of information. Yeah. We can't just remain dummies during the age of information on all aspects of life. On, from the hood to other states to motherfucking another country. You can't keep staying the way that they want you to stay or staying the way that you are right now because you're not growing. You're just in limbo. You're not learning. You, you, you're out of school, but what are you learning? Nothing. Like, dude, get out. Like, musicians. If music is universal, music is one of the things that they send out of out of out in outer space. And music, music and mathematics, they send them out of space, you know, to see what, uh, higher higher life forms. If music is universal, why motherfuckers keep on making music for the hood? Why? Like you're not going nowhere. You're just going to another hood. No, nigga. If you can't get a passport, your music can. Your music is international. Facts. But you, but why you keep on making motherfucking hood music that won't just only gonna go four corners? Because this nigga over here in the other hood not gonna like your music like that. It might be somebody within your age group, that other places, but as far as other generations, other nationalities, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Right. The fuck this nigga talking about. He can't right. pronounce these motherfucking words. These artists will get will get money and won't better themselves as a person. That's crazy. But then, you, then the new generation. I mean, like. How many motherfuckers, how many mumble mouth rappers you know has improved on their skills since they're made since they made millions? Zero. Now it's trappers, you know, that that have improved their life. Trap rappers, you know, they like, fuck, I got this money, I know what to do, I can flip this shit legally. Motherfucking lose weight, take boxing skills, karate, whatever you do. But the mumble mouth rappers, man, please. These motherfuckers are putting more shit in their mouth to where they can't even keep talking. They want to take drugs, shit that slow down their speech, slur like because they need that to keep that type of popularity. They just need to be I trying mean, to go with the trend, the fad. I mean, but at some time in your life, the party's over. Facts, 100%. You know, the party's fucking over. Like, you got to get the fuck out of here. The club will kick you out no matter how much money you spend in that motherfucker. Unless it's your club. You can spend $4.5 million in that motherfucker when it's closing time. Unless you paying extra to keep that motherfucker open. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. It don't matter. So nigga, you get all this motherfucking money. I'm not trying to be your accountant or anything, but okay, now you got a baby mama, and okay, do you talk the same way at home with your kids? Yeah. If you do something wrong with you, and this motherfuckers out there that do that, the motherfuckers, we just gotta better ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just keep coming down on on the young rappers and and the youth and stuff like that. No, it's. It's on oh, it's on on certain age group too. The group of slightly the group before us, but not really because it's people my generation that know. But I say my generation might have dropped the ball, or fumbled and recovered a little bit. But you know, we we fucked up. But it it wasn't a, a fuck up by choice. It was a fumble. Like like we hit ourselves. They hit us a couple times. Age group wise, you know, because it's to the point to where the young cats can't say, You can't tell me, you can't tell me nothing, and nobody never told me nothing. You can't have it both ways because when we was trying to tell you, you didn't want to listen. Then when you, you know, when we stopped talking to you and then you kept on doing what you were doing and got wider and wider and wider, now you want to disrespect the old heads like, Nigga, you can't tell me nothing, or ain't nobody. We tried to, you didn't want to fucking listen. We had to listen. We was getting beat up by our OGs. Not like the herders, but oh, you want to be hard, you want to be tough, boop, bop, 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 b
shit just start happening younger and younger and younger through influence, through poverty. Poverty makes us, it forces us to create a, a currency illegally. And all crimes aren't out of, they aren't ill manners. Some are out of necessity. Some are just to supply habits, but some is to really feed the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like a mama, like right now, 2019, and this has been happening for years. I can recall seeing my bigger homegirls going, maybe an auntie or something going. Like, they will literally prostitute themselves and just, nigga, my kids got to eat. I don't give a fuck about, like right now, you know, you know how many young hoes is prostitutes and got babies? I don't give a fuck about none of that. They didn't, you know, like the strippers, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you inside with it, you know what I'm saying? You dancing, okay, 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 yeah, big, I'll buy these motherfuckers. But these motherfuckers outside, be, they will go sell some pussy and go back home to their kids. But that's been happening for years, like forever. But you know what I'm saying, look, look, look how it's, it's not got younger, because like, you know, once upon a time, why well, ain't fucking no motherfucking 14 year old prostitute? I'm not saying me, I'm saying like, they be out there that young, like, what the fuck? And I'm from the city, imagine how shit go all in, in the back roads. Them, uh, them other states and shit like that, like rural the, areas, the, the, the country. Like God damn, but it's it's crazy. The dope, the the the, the selling drugs. You know, what I'm saying it did what it did. It it, it ruined families, but it supplied families with sustenance and lights and clothes and, and all that type of shit. It's it's just it's fucked up that. The situations were created to where we had to do these things and it darkened our people. Not melanin wise, but as a people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It darkened us badly. You know what I'm saying? And, and then and then the outlook that people have on black people as far as things that we've done and then we try to turn around and hold the white man. Oh, y'all did this, y'all did that. Like, real shit, we done knew them. We, we keep doing it to ourselves now. So what are we gonna say? Pop, like, damn. When we gonna like be accountable <laughs> for the shit that we do, and we can't keep saying that the white man did it. Right. <clears throat> but see, that all a lot of it circles back around to we wouldn't put if we wasn't put in these positions, we wouldn't have to motherfucking be creating a way. So think about the drug war. Like, why did the drugs hit the streets? Because they needed more finance to support to to fund a war. CIA, right? CIA. So when they did that. The money was funneled back to them, but when but when we got a hold of nigga, fuck them, we gonna make our own money. Guess what? Now they got a war on us now because we don't work for them no more. We found our own way. We don't need y'all no more. We do it ourselves. Y'all started this shit. Okay, we see what y'all doing. Y'all cutting us out. Y'all doing this. Okay, we we ain't fuck with y'all no more. We do it ourselves. Now they made. See, you motherfuckers made this shit and then brought it here, gave it to us. We sold it. You locked us up, so you was getting paid by. Motherfuckers, you, you was getting paid by... It's like entrapment. It's more than entrapment, You getting paid by the drugs, you getting paid by the legal, the legal fees, and you getting paid by... Shit, free, like, free labor in the prison. Look, look, everything, you gotta think about this. When the crime get committed, who gets first dollar? Police. Police. No. Dispatch. 911. See, they don't all the time work for the police. They just a 911 system. Right. So they get first dollar. Then, the who gets second dollar? The motherfucker that he goes to. Emergency Police, medical. Police, firefighter. Police, it, no. So then who, gets, then who gets the third dollar? The jails. Then the courts. You know, so when you're in jail, guess who get them dollars? Away? See, it's all this shit like, so in all actuality, we are the bag. Motherfucker, I ain't gonna run and get the bag, nigga. If you are the bag, understand how much your ass is worth. And then even before that, the social security number. They get paid off of that. Yep. Look how they can keep getting paid off of us, even if we die. Birth certificate, death certificate. Yep. The coroner. They trade off for all that shit, yep. But, and look what we keep doing. Like, we keep on, we don't understand that we the bag and on top of that, we keep spending money on their products. Like, yeah, man, it's, do, do, do motherfuckers know how much shit that black people invented? Everything. I just found out today that the black woman invented GPS. Yep. I just found out that shit, shit today before I used it to come up here to this motherfucker. Yep. And I'm like, well, how many black GPS companies is, oh, what they did was they bought the patent for it. Or they bought, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, you know what I'm saying? When was this ever discussed? Like, when did they ever tell us anything like this? See, but they're in control of the information. Propaganda. For sure. I think, I forgot who was it that said, if you let me control the music, Mayor. I control the youth. Uh, Somebody said that. Well, who's that that said something like that? Um, like I think it was somebody from the Beatles. 
Or somebody that was associated with the Beatles. I thought it was somebody else. Somebody said, well, a tyrant. Lennon said, Vladimir Lennon, give me just one generation of youth and I'll transform the whole world. Some shit like that. Because, you know, the, see, that's what the spies and shit was about. Because, you know, oh, man. <laughs> it gets deep. Um, where was we at? Because, yeah, I'd be all over the damn place. I'm like, well, I still want to know what you think. What you what you gonna think as as far as post Nipsey? Is it gonna right, to ele- elevate the consciousness of the of the hood? Are they gonna follow suit? Yes and no, um, because there was people that was trying to do it before then, but they didn't really band together. So it's like I can't I can't, I can't speak on the broad aspect, but if it hasn't been accomplished by now, and Nip you no know, came out and you know he he maneuvered and showed people like like this what we can do instead of. He showed people that this is what we can do. Like, like, if I did it, and I got a team with me, y'all can do it too. But that circles back around to what I said. If we keep on saying what we're gonna do, they're gonna block that shit. Those of us with a certain age, or those of us with rank or um, influence need to make better moves, make better decisions, make better moves because no matter how sneaky and sly we think we are, somebody watching us somewhere. You could be sliding through the hood, could be a little kid somewhere in the cut just looking at you and from the inside of the house. I'm like, I like that car. Oh shit, he beat that lady up. Damn, I like his car, but he beat that lady up. I wonder what she do. Damn, he shot that man. Oh fuck, they tripping. Now he's He's not directly on you, but he see what you're doing. He don't got nobody else to give him no influence. He don't got no role model. We have to be better as people. You know, I don't give a fuck if you bang. I don't give a fuck what you do. You just make better decisions because the kids is always watching. Somebody kid always watching. If it's not a kid, somebody watching you, they're going to snitch on you. Or you could be fucking their people or they come back and get you. Either way, go. you have to be a better person. The youth are going to, they're, they're going to learn by example. And then if there's nobody around to show them, they're gonna make their own lessons. And you don't want them to do that because when they come, when they use the wrong skills that they learned on themselves and they need some shit and you have it, then that's your ass. And then at the same time, same thing, if you're an OG and you're teaching your little homies the wrong shit, them same lessons are gonna come back and bite you because they know that you got it and they need it. And you, you don't teach them the right shit yeah, we're gonna go jack. Whoop de whoop de whoop. You're gonna be slipping as an older motherfucker. He's gonna know your pattern. Whoop de whoop de whoop. You're gonna be doing bad. Or he's gonna just be ready to move in. You know what I'm saying? And he's not gonna just rob you. He's gonna kill your motherfucking ass because he knows that you're gonna come back. Now we're gonna get you out the way. Then I'll be able to move in and do what I do. You know, so it, lead by example and the right type of lessons. You know, like anything you do. Just try and be a better person because by you being of a certain age, you know right from wrong at a certain age. So show right from wrong. You know, do right from wrong. Then that way you'll get to being, a, you know, you're not a better person. I mean, you're not you're not going to be a perfect person, but at least you're bettering yourself. And then on top of that, you drop, you sprinkle little seeds, little jewels down. You know, it ain't going to hurt any of you. Gangsta, so what? You can, you, you're human. You're human before anything. So if if things feel human or humane, do the shit. Like, what, what's your homie going to do? Tease you? You know, what I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, right. I, I be, I'm from the hood too, nigga. I'll beat your ass up. We be out here fighting, nigga. You better back up off me, nigga. So what I did that. Stand up for yourself, you, nigga. You from the hood? You just, man. I done told the game, my little homies. You from the hood now? Don't let these niggas punk you, cause you, cause they gonna require you to do the same shit that they doing. So if you, if they require you to do the same shit that they doing, but you letting them punk you, nigga, you a crash test dummy, nigga. They gonna send your ass out on stupid ass missions, doing this and doing that and doing this and doing that. You gonna either end up jail or dead, <coughs> <coughs> or cripple somewhere. Don't let niggas punk you like that. I wouldn't even prefer to gang bang, but you know that's your decision. But now you here, don't let these niggas punk you. Sometime the homie didn't like that. I didn't give a fuck. I don't. I don't care. I could. I, I don't care. That's just me. Don't let these niggas punk you and the homies to be mad. Like, man, don't be telling them that shit. What kind of, what you mean don't tell them that shit? You, man. I used to have to fight the homies, like, for so, the right shit. So do you think that there's like the right, <clears throat> the right setup? Like, maybe ranking wise or? No, because everybody don't hang, all the little homies don't hang out with the big homies. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you do better. Somebody underneath you gonna see you doing good or see you doing better. I'm like, okay, well shit. 
Oh, okay. See, now they don't have to feel that tough around you. They could feel like family members, like, you know, like uncle, nephew, son, father, like shit like that. They'll feel like, okay, we're, we're family. But if they see you acting ass, like, they're going to want to be tough as you. They want to act as tough as you. Like, nigga, be human, dude. Like, be human. Be human. That's all you got to do. Be human. Like, okay, say, say for instance, act like this your real nephew and not little so-and-so or tiny so or baby loke. Nigga, treat him like he your nephew. Treat him like, you know, come on. And little niggas have to accept the respect. You know what I'm saying? Because if bigger homies respect you, respect them back and listen to what they say. You know what I'm saying? If it makes sense. If it's some stupid shit, I mean, like, you ain't got to listen to stupid shit. I never did. I'm not, and my homies never taught me no stupid shit. So I didn't have to, I wasn't subjugated to that. It was regular shit. But it has to be a balance of interactions and doing what's right and what's wrong. And you have to know when you get a certain age or when you've been through enough or when you've been through a certain amount, it, it's no time. You can't start doing better things soon enough because if you do it late in the game, your conscience might fuck with you because you was wild as you was young. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't wait till it get late to start being a human being. Motherfuckers always saying, "Oh, I'm a man before I'm, before I'm a gang member." Okay, nigga, you're a human man. Be human, motherfucker. Like, ain't nothing wrong with love. Ain't nothing wrong with telling her I'm not gonna go hang out with my girl. Like, nigga, ain't nothing wrong with none of that. Period, unless you one of them gay side gangsters. Fuck that. I ain't with that. There's nothing wrong with playing with the kids. There's nothing wrong with randomly, you know what I'm saying, buying kids ice cream. Like, that's that's what the gangsters used to do back in the day. Like, do for all the little kids. Like, nigga, you gangster, nigga, study what the old gangsters used to do. Because these new gangsters ain't doing shit. Nothing. Look, I used to say this to you know, I used to speak. The young generation don't want to listen to the older generation. And they said the protocol and the G-code is dead. But the young motherfuckers is dying exactly for the same shit that the old motherfuckers set the protocol and G-code up not for us not to do. Everything that everybody died for, all the old gangsters died for, the young niggas dying for it too. They ain't dying for nothing new except these new punk ass drugs. They ain't doing, nigga, nigga still getting shot. Nigga still ain't supposed to fuck with another nigga bitch. Nigga still ain't supposed to do this and do that. That's all in the G-code and the protocol. You're supposed to stick with your people. You're supposed to do what you will. You ain't doing that, motherfucker. Like, what are the young motherfuckers doing? They don't, they're not dying for nothing new, except for, like I said, the drugs. And they're dying in skinny jeans. <laughs> that nigga wanted to throw that out there. He like, like, fuck it, I got to say it. That was Steve. Oh, her nigga, you know, like, it's the image. They fucking up the image and the mentality. Ain't nobody, you know, like, I'm not going to say scared, but we're not respected. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not doing things and deeds. And at the same time, we're not looking apart. So, you can't have, like, you no, it, that don't work. That don't work. Like, we're not doing the deeds that we did back in the day. And we're not even dressing the part. See, that's how they're breaking down, you know, masculinity, femininity there. They're, they're taking away our fearsome edge on the world because, you know, like, we're looked at people as warriors. We be buff, swole, all this. I'm not saying that other people don't, but, like, we different. We, su like, superior when it comes to, you know, physical shit. Yeah, pretty much everything. So, well, yeah, but I'm talking about the physical, physical part. Yeah. Physical, so, for, so, sure, for sure, So, but look how they watered us down and did what they did to us, butt breaking and... And then like it just keep on going and then just the shit in, in Chicago with the Jesse Fool or Jesse or yeah. Hossie or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah. Jesse Smollett or something. Yeah, you know now like, you know, it's just I don't I don't you know, I'm I don't I cannot respect anything about the homosexual shit because it's not na it's not natural. It's not natural, and I, I believe in order to become homosexual, it has to be through incident or influence. Oh, that's okay. I mean, incident or influence. That's a lot of molestation or that that's that's um, incident, you know, molestation, and then I say influence is so like you see your mama keep going through bad relationships, and then you know, and then. Oh, she all around them is women. Now the boys is influenced by all females, or you fuck around, see your mama kiss a girl, and you think it's cool. You know, that's all. That's incident of influence. So and then um, so. I spoke to Riza a couple of times, Riza Islam, and then he was telling me certain things about like um, put me up on game. But I think Cam did the same thing as well about the um, 
the chemical changes that they do, and then like you know, science. Science is a motherfucker. Science and medicine is a motherfucker. Look, scientists are the motherfuckers that have the biggest God complex because they hold life and death in the palm of their fucking hands, and a lot of them lose their fucking brain. They're the ones that are changing the genes. They're the ones that is doing certain things. That's coming up with these chemicals. That's fucking up the the human body, the human mind. They're doing the sex changes. The scientists is a motherfucker, and then the medicines is is even crazier because the medicines are linked to the opium. The opium is the, you know come from the poppy fields. The biggest poppy fields are in China, Russia, and Afghanistan. But, yeah. but they can't invade China or, or Russia. So who they go after? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then out there, Vietnam was one of them too back in the day. Yeah, yeah. But see, like that's what I mean by like, that's Asian because you think about it. Well, how you think Asia became some of the top medical motherfuckers because they were you know opium, poppy, all that shit, heroin. Remember them all? Remember all them old karate movies when they got them the, the, the prisoners in them in them cells doped up? Crazy as hell. What you think the fuck they was giving them? Opium, yeah. heroin, all of that shit. Yeah, they had opium dens and shit. Like yeah, that. that's what people would do. Man, they was opium. experimenting on that shit. That's why they had the motherfuckers down there in them prisoners and them. K Remember, um, Enter the Dragon when Bruce Lee and Jim Carrey and all them. Remember when, he, when, when Bruce Lee went downstairs and that motherfucking thing threw that snake in that motherfucking... Nigga, what was all down there? It was all opiates, motherfucker. They was all doped up. Them, them girls with long ass hair and the fucked up ass eyes. What was they on? Opium. Yes. Looking That's hurt. all that... Hmm? Looking hurt. What, man. Man, look at here, bro. So, you know, like, that drug epidemic shit, nothing to play with. And the scientists, they use that shit to fucking keep the circle going because if the, if they they put drugs in the food the food get us sick we go see the doctor the doctors put us on more drugs why you think the motherfucking the, the naturalist is having problems why you think that they had to take Dr. Sebi motherfucking court behind that shit a lot of the natural herbists and all the motherfuckers the motherfucking having problems with the motherfucking pharmaceuticals some of them be coming up dead straight up some of them they be coming up nigga in numbers like how but ain't mm -mm. Be very afraid, y'all. They fuck. They 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 fucking us up. They're fucking us up, and they're trying to create. They're still trying to create better people. The same thing that Hitler was trying to do to create a, a perfect white man. The government is trying to do that to create people to where that they can they can keep a working class. Keep them in order, yeah. Keep, keep them, them working. You know, keep them a working class. He's basically a perfect slave. <clears throat> but then they're not. But see, they're not going to really need him because. The robotics is taking over. Robotics. You know what I'm saying? So it's like y'all look look when when they say Hollywood predict shit and, and Hollywood Hollywood predict shit, they're not playing because the people that get the, the crazy ideas, they fuck around and make movies or write scripts. And predict then that the the, then they put that shit on TV and then it become programming. Prime example. How old are you, Brody? Thirty six. You thirty six. How do you, Brody? Twenty six. Okay, I'm I'm forty six. God damn. That's ten ten. Man, okay now when I was younger. One of my favorite cartoons was G.I. Joe. Okay. So yeah, that right. was getting us, that was putting a, 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 a military thing in our head. Right. We playing with different toys, like the Dragonfly. They had out in the Apache helicopter with Wild Bill. He was, a, he was a, the pilot. Okay, so them helicopters wasn't, they weren't made back then. They wasn't made. A lot oh, of them shit. toys shit wasn't made. They weren't made into full scale, into, into, into army. They was prepping us for that shit. That's crazy. I didn't even think about that G.I. Joe. Right, because it was a cartoon, so it was supposed to be hot. Yeah. It, it, was, it was like, okay, so no, see, see, look, they put the cartoons out, and then, then while it be watching the episodes, what do you think the motherfucker they're putting? It's, it's put like this. Video games. You know what video games really are? They're simulations. Okay. Grand Theft Auto. Shit. Grand Theft Auto. Look, they say, well, the neighborhoods are bad. You guys... Oh, y'all, y'all selling drugs, y'all stealing cars, y'all doing all this and all that. Okay, we got to ramp up the security. We got to put all the police force and all this and not lock everybody up. Okay, so certain things that we do, you know, to get money, to get by, you know, I'm not going to say everything is good, everything is bad. But we do some, certain of these crimes and we get penalized for it. And y'all say, we're making the neighborhood bad. I mean, we driving down the motherfucking property value. So now, after 
the criminal element is getting wiped out and the property value is dropped down and amidst all of that you guys are making video games and things that's illegal in real life and who's playing these fucking video games a lot of these motherfuckers is the teenagers and, and the people that's younger than that so since the dads is gone and then y'all clean up the area and try to who's teaching them how to do this criminalistic shit the video games who's getting paid for it them yeah. that's fucked up we can't see they don't want us to teach our kids anything when they when they took away our parental rights with the birth certificate because the birth certificate is the transference of ownership Goddamn. nigga the, why why do you think the mormons and all them the, they, they they stay away it's a, it's religions that don't fuck with the government like y'all can't do nothing else we got no y'all can't y'all can't do nothing to us why do you think they got homeschool and they get births at home they got their own land they can't do certain things to indians because they got their own fucking shit they had to give it back to them when you get born and you sign that birth certificate the birth certificate is a transfer of ownership which is saying look you signed this baby over to us by this birth certificate you the mother father we're gonna let y'all raise this baby go ahead but as soon as you do something we don't like guess what we gonna do we're gonna come get this little bastard without no problem you can't tell them no okay now mind you without that birth certificate that baby is a ghost it's a phantom of the opera you have no school and you're like that baby has no name that baby has no you can't track it with no birth certificate no social security card you can't track that baby how are you gonna get medical help for that baby? You gotta have some showing that you're the baby parent. Or a caretaker. Or a parental guardian. How, how are you gonna get that baby in schooling? How are you gonna get that baby in immunization shots? Anything without that fucking birth certificate. You can't even take them. Can you take the baby home? No. Not without no birth certificate. If it's, <coughs> if it's in the hospital. <coughs> so I gotta come here, then. Sign the baby over for me to take the baby. What if I just leave here? Okay, it's even better. We gotta, now we got the foster home shit. We get paid off the baby regardless of out of adoption. We'll do this with, like, damn. Damn. Being in foster care is like being in the hole. If people don't check up on you, they don't give a fuck about you. Just like jail. If you're in, jail, if you're in a hole in jail and don't nobody check up on you, guess what? They don't give a fuck about you. Oh, ain't nobody checking up on you? Oh, you're nobody in the world. Okay. You're here for doing some bullshit. Ain't nobody, no, 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 no. We get no boxes, no letters. Ain't nobody looking at, ain't nobody check. Oh, yeah, we're going to put you, we're going to put you in some fucked up ass shit. You come to gladiator fighting, like all the shit. That, yeah, I've heard the story about they make motherfuckers fight in prison. Mm -hmm. Go on. <laughs> Go on. What? Foster care. Ain't nobody checking up for you. Motherfuckers get molested. Turned out. All that shit. It's the same shit. Government run facilities. Damn. Shit get hella deep. Man. What we got left? He said nothing. He said both these motherfuckers is dead. <laughs> this is my <laughs> <laughs> well shit, I don't want I don't even want to stop it, but uh before we uh, run out of tape, I just wanna say I appreciate you definitely for coming sprinkling all the game. So definitely gonna have you back so we can just continue the conversation. Uh you gotta get some of my partners back in. I'm in here, man. Like I said, get Kiki Loco up in here. He got, you know, he got a, he's a, he, he got some, some shit to say. Get G Lynn in here, you know, talking about him and uh, his mom rapping Granny and like the impact on like the family structure in the hood or however you know, but like him and rapping Granny. Okay. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. If you could plug us with him. Yeah, no problem. I'll do that. Um, oh, yeah. Y'all hit me up on Instagram, by the way. Uh, yeah, at Big Homie Rum. Hit me up on Instagram. I have a Facebook too, but. I don't like being on there too much. I, it's, my Instagram is linked to my Twitter and my Facebook. So just hit me up on Instagram, at Big Homie Rum. You know, I might hit you back depending on what you talk about. <laughs> talk some bullshit, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Um, I still do music a little bit and I still got bars. So, you know, hit me up on Business Inquiries now for free. Um, yeah, I appreciate y'all listening to me. So, we out. We out.